All right, two reactions involving uh, organic compounds is what we're going to talk about next. The first one is hydrogenation, and that is essentially just adding uh, hydrogen atoms to organic molecules, to hydrocarbons that contain double bonds. Okay, and so we have some um, alkene, all right, and so we've got a carbon double bonded to a, another carbon, and let's just say this is a very simple methene, all right. This is what is known as an unsaturated hydrocarbon. There are more uh, hydrogens that can be put on this molecule. We see that each carbon is only bonded to two uh, hydrogens, whereas we know if we got rid of this double bonds, we could add more hydrogens, and hence uh, it is unsaturated, okay? Um, we can do this by reacting it with hydrogen, usually with a catalyst, such as metal, a metal catalyst such as nickel or platinum. And essentially what happens is these hydrogen atoms are um, added to each one to each carbon and so we instead of the double bond setting up we've got a single bond between each carbon atom and those two hydrogen atoms were added so the hydrogenation reactions adds hydrogens onto double bonds or where you double bonds used to be now that this carbon these two carbon atoms have as many hydrogen atoms that you can put on them you can't add any more hydrogens without breaking the octet rule. This is what is known as a saturated hydrocarbon. It has all of the um, hydrogens it can ever have. And so that's the difference between unsaturated hydrocarbons and saturated hydrocarbons, uh, a topic that will come up again when we talk about unsaturated and saturated fats. All right, the next um, reaction that we're gonna talk about is uh, oxidation. So the oxidation reactions um, in terms of biological uh, chemistry and organic chemistry are uh, occur when oxygen is added to a hydrocarbon. Okay. And so we can start out again with a very simple uh, hydrocarbon, ethane, which doesn't have any oxygens. If we were to add one oxygen, uh, the first uh, scenario that would set up is it would actually create an alcohol group. Okay, so we added one oxygen. Um, further oxidation would be uh, removing one of the hydrogens and actually creating a uh, double bond between uh, the carbon and um, oxygen. And so that would look like this, is a further oxidation reaction. Well, we're not uh, adding an oxygen, but we're changing it to from an alcohol to an aldehyde. And so the way you can think of this as adding oxygen, we're actually adding a bond to oxygen. Um, at least that's how I uh, think about it. Uh, so you've got a carbon, a single bond to oxygen. You can further oxidize it by adding a double bond to that same oxygen. Okay, and so this is still oxidation. And then we could oxidize it further by actually adding another oxygen. And so turning that aldehyde into a carboxylic acid. And so that's the uh, mechanism for oxidizing organic compounds. You go from an alkane to an alcohol to an aldehyde and then to a carboxylic acid. Uh, the reverse, if you're going in the reverse, you go from a carboxylic acid to an aldehyde, an aldehyde to a hydroxyl group or an alcohol, and then all the way back to a um, 
alkane, that is called reducing uh, the organic uh, compound or reduction. So reduction, reduction is the loss of oxygen atoms or bonds to oxygen um, in an organic molecule. A loss of um, oxygen, or actually a gaining of hydrogen atoms is another way to uh, think about it.